Hello, everybody. Thought I could eat a couple of uh, nuts or whatever before stream got really rolling and uh, get it all stuck in my teeth. But let's find ourselves a webcam. Hello, everybody. I am Somebody Nor, and tonight, more judgment. Um, I want to try to stay focused on the story because I feel like we've gone. What is it? We're we're like two, three chapters in tops, and we've been doing this for what eight sessions? <laughs> like, I know that early game can you know cram a whole lot of tutorials all in, but yeah, we keep not doing the main story. But now we have a. Uh, when last we left our hero, uh, we learned about uh, we learned about the heist on the Yakuza that got our uh, best friend kicked out. We learned that that guy, he might still be around, but we need to go and uh, kill some time at the VR arcade thing so that the, the homeless guy that we think knows about it can find out more information on him so yeah he gave us a ticket to the arcade and that's that's our starting that's our starting point for today yesterday we also had a lot of dates with uh with sana our musician girlfriend thing stuff um i don't know what else we have floating about for side stuff but yeah we might stop off, say hi to some people that we're trying to finish becoming friends with, but at, as a whole, I don't think we have a whole lot else. Like, there's still a few people that we can finish becoming friends with, but honestly, like, we... I think we took care of a lot of the stuff. Like, we took care of a lot of the extra stuff. Oh, yeah, and yesterday we got our... Uh, our vampire disguise. So now, whenever the game wants us to be in disguise, the rest of the game, we are a vampire. I don't even care. We are a vampire. Alright. Map. We still have no idea where this guy's cats are. We don't have anybody that we can give to Yusuke as a friend to visit, uh, what is it, Madoka? We could go see Madoka, honestly, but that, eh, like, yeah, there's, yeah, there's, what is it, there's a, there's a place over here we could visit with Madoka, but, I right now, I think I'd rather progress the story, we, we've spent so much time not progressing the story, We've got two other friends that we could probably, well, I guess three other friends we could probably visit with if we are in the neighborhood, being the Bantam owner who wants to just, I guess, vent. Like, that's his deal. Like, he's he's just going through a lot of stuff and he wants to vent. We got uh, this guy over here, Hiranuma. He is a, uh, uh, not detective, a uh, reporter. Yeah. He's like a freelance reporter or whatever. And so he might send us out on little reporting missions. And then we got this guy up here, Suichi Hatano. He sells baseball stuff. I don't know. Like, it's not like I don't have the money. I have like 5 million yen at this point. So we got a few people that we can still become better friends with. I think we've got we've got a sub story or say we've got a side case at one of the two places that wanted us to get up to level 25 but that would require us to get like two maybe three more full friends so yeah let's just go focus on the story for the next little while and uh, yeah I don't remember how this game plays but I don't recall it being that difficult yeah I don't remember how what 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 Ryan, you almost 
showed up too late and I almost got touched. Seriously, Ryan. Jeez. Get here a little quicker next time. Did I get the money that was on the ground? I think I did. So I gotta like look around and see if I can ever find that calico cat that the guy at that one park wants. Or I don't know it's a park. I think it's a back alley or something. But still. Wait, let's look in here real quick. Get that. Not that we need it. Am I immediately getting distracted? Probably. There's a ladder. Eh, let's stay focused. That's like the first time that when we saw someone, it wasn't the uh, landlady. It's, it's almost always the landlady. She's like everywhere. What? What do you want from me? Must we? I got hit. Damn it! I was trying to do a wall run. I don't have enough of those. And stay down. Yeah. Hit by a wall run. Or, I wanted to do a wall run, the guy actually hit me and said, Enter a fighting stance. Like, screw fighting stances. Fighting stances don't mean nothing to me. We got two fighting stances. Oh, hey, look. It's our landlady. Uh, I mean, we're not especially damaged. We can eat, though, I guess. Uh, they have something cheap we can eat. Uh... T get us? No, T does not get us back. Onion soup. Wow. No. Uh, onion rings. There we go. No, 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 wait. No. Yeah. Onion rings. Good stuff. I know it's not important, but, you know, I like to be at full health. And it's not like I don't have the money, like I said. Back to it. Right, let's go. Yeah, 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 th yeah. Thank you, thank you too. Yeah, you're welcome. We're having a good time. It's all fun. Let's let's. Really. Wise choice. Yeah. Hey, look, it's our landlady. Yes, yes, uh, thank you, uh, Ryan. Who? Okay, there is a better than average chance that this is Sana, right? Yep, Sana's the only one that contacts me, so... Listen to this, it seems Kabata-san had a change of heart. You just notified that he sent my agency an apology letter. Never saw that coming, that's good. Yes, but the manager still won't let up. He says I need to be way more careful from now on. You figured up your response. Thanks to you, after what happened, my mind is made up. What, you're just share a song? Love is a powerful force that does more to drive my music. It reflects the way I live. I won't hide that anymore. Not for my bosses, not even for my fans. Otherwise, my songs would lose their meaning. I understand. Do you uh, do be aware that your manager might not see eye to eye to you, or eye to eye with you? Yes, that's why I plan on negotiating with him, as you mentioned. My newly complete song. Oh, it's ready. Yes. I'll be cheering you on. I'd like to hear that sometime. I'll be cheering you on. Oh, that was... Okay, I guess that was the right thing to answer. Uh, I'll do my best. Yay! We don't have to <laughs> go on a date with her. Not that that's a bad thing, necessarily. It's just... It's just seriously. Like, 
Dude, we've been so distracted by going on dates and stuff with her. Okay, we can finally get in this building. Remember what all's in here. Uh, what's your deal? Okay, Dyson Cube. Apologize for the sudden appearance. I'm Shinano. I lead the Dyson Cube section of Kamurocho Committee. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Are you aware of free passes? Hmm. No, what's that? Free pass allows you to play Dyson Cube as many times as you want. No more play passes needed. <laughs> Is it's the only pass you'll ever need again. Didn't know there was such a thing. How do I get it? I have to collect six free pass vouchers. The locations where you can find them are secret. Please go try looking for yeah. them. You see? I'll keep that in mind. Great. Have a happy virtual life. I don't remember if we had found any of them, but... King Koronyan will spawn somewhere on the map if you beat a golden enemy. So go for the gold as much as you can. Should just give hints. Has a lot of missions. Try them out sometime. Look at that guy. Knockdown guy. What is that one doing? Okay, you can barely see him the camera where it is. Let's go play a game. We were told we had to try to win a prize for, for that guy. Alright, welcome to Paradise VR. Here you can play the latest in virtual reality entertainment. One and only Dyson Cube. A VR paradise. Each course costs a different number of play passes. Isn't that the thing the homeless guy gave yep. me? Is this a play pass? Uh -huh. oh. Free trial play pass. You can play with one of these. Have you played Dyson Cube before? No. no, it's my first time. I see. In that case, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm your receptionist, Naisu Daisu. I don't believe that's your name. I don't believe you, miss. As in, nice dice. I'm so sorry. We hope to have, that you have an amazing experience that brings you back for more. Yeah. Thanks. I'll guide you through the short course today. Customers who do well on the short course will get a special surprise. Condition is to clear the stage with more than two dice left in your possession. Do your best. Is this what the homeless guy wanted? Guess I better beat the game and bring him back a prize. There's a lot to it. Now, put on your VR goggles. <laughs> and you're all set. Enjoy the trip into Virtual Camarocho. On, on we go. Away we go. Into the Virtual Camarocho. But it's the first time in this, Here they'll explain go. it to me. God, those Let's do glasses this. are so goofy. Alright, roll dice, check bonus, camera, items, sure. If it ain't fresh new face. Howdy, my name's Koronyan, and I run this dang old Dyson Cube. I was born and raised in Hiroshima, you see? Back home, I always dreamed of being a big time mascot, and well, here I am. Oh, is he supposed to be like a gangster? I guess so. Sure is nice to have some company in this doggone virtual prison. Oh mine, hehe, <laughs> now let me learn you the rules. Three basic things to know about Dyson Cube. First, you start rolling them. You 
you can start rolling them their dice with X and stop them with X. Second, there's a limit to how many dice you can roll per game. Third, items you find around these parts are converted to cash rewards once all said and done. Third rule is mighty important, but I reckon it's quicker to show you than just running off at the map. Time for your first roll. Uh, let's see. Don't be nervous. Loosen up them shoulders and relax them cheeks. 16 spaces to reach the goal. Look at the map. Okay, there's a little bit of move, like a little bit of split in this map, but as a whole, it's fine. We got five dice rolls. What was it? We needed to finish with two. Roll them. Two? Oh no. Now then, notice the number on top. The dice went down by one. That number shows how many dice you throw during this crazy old game. When it reaches zero, bang, boom, kablow. It's game over, Sonny. So mind that dice number whenever you make your move. Oh, the higher your number is here, the higher the bonus you get. Bonus changes depending on how much you have left. Just press square to look at the details. Keep on going, sunny boy. Okay, meal tickets. Damn. Initiating battle sequence. This here's a battle space. It's got more stars. It's the more stars it's got, the rougher the battles are. But if you manage to win, the number of stars in space had will be added to your dice total. Okay. I I honestly cannot remember the, how this game works. Okie dokie, time to show this cockamamie video game what you're made of. It's a one star battle, shouldn't give you one bit of trouble. Now go out and show them what's the what. Beat the enemy. You Onward. I think what? One of the next ones in the tutorial trip through this is like... Alright, this is able to be cashed in for 25000 Nice little trinket you got there. These little doohickeys will do whatever you kids call them or, or exchange for cash at the end. By the way, you can check the details of your items by pressing triangle. 14 spaces to go. Come on. No way. Shouldn't give you trouble. Blah, blah, blah. path. Whichever way you go is up to you. Whatever fate falls you is your responsibility. By the way, you can check what's ahead by pressing L1, looking at the map. So we got dice and we got fight. Um, I'll take free dice, I guess. This one. 
Oh, no. Lost two dice! I didn't realize it was lose two dice. Shit. I didn't want to go that way then. Aww. That's not what I wanted. Oh man. I'm not gonna get the prize. Come on. Is the present oh. dice? Because I could use some more dice. I can give you something shiny and rare. Beautiful shell. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to get one roll at the moment. Can't get to a dice. Reach with the roll. It'll be game over. So hope and pray that you get wherever you are. Now. This will get us another die. Like, I feel like we could lose this one. There's an opportunity to get some extra dice. You say some, that's one. One extra die. Hello, Ali. It's it's weird but cool. Out of the way. What? Get off of me! Guy. Oh no. Did you see, like, his uh, jacket on the back was not really enjoying him getting hit. When he got hit, the, the jacket on the back got all, like, a weird brown. How you doing tonight? Okay, we got some $10,000... Or, sorry, 10,000 yen cat food. All right, just a straight path to the goal. Watch your pudding. We got six spaces to go. Roll them. Three. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this, so I don't. We're not gonna win. Yes. We're not gonna get to the end because we don't have enough dice. This is bad for us. And we won't even get our prizes because we won't get to the end. Ran out of dice. Sorry about that. Means game over. Damn, couldn't do it. That sucked. We didn't even win any prizes. We didn't win the prizes or nothing. The guy wanted us to get a prize for him and uh, kind of failed that. I mostly blame it on having no idea that the path to the left was me losing dice. Giving out free passes, do the trial run, give it a shot. Guess I should report back. Oh no! I would play! Let me play! Be able to play short course standard. Let me play! Fights are easy. Yeah. Let's go. I want to actually win one real quick. Just because. Yeah, it's like I didn't realize the path. Here we go. That path to the left Let's was me just straight up losing dice. I thought it had something to do with me gaining dice, but I I should have looked at the at the uh, index to see what it meant. Yes, yes. See it back. Come on. Ooh, six. Let's go. Five. Ooh, prize. have to open it by using the lock picking or good old thumb bypass. You can open it any time. Yes. Okay. Ooh, thumb bypass. Oh. 
Almost there. There we go. What do we got? All right, twenty-five hundred. Which one? Uh, let's see. It's basically the same thing as before. So let's roll the dice, see what we get. Now. Three. So three will take us either to a gift or a, another locked. Geez, there's a lot of locked stuff over here. Yeah, there's a lot of locked safes over here. here where does it say what the icon description are? Oh, see, yep, yeah, dice minus. That sucks. I think we go to the right. Here we go. Almost there. Nice. Huh? Almost there. Got it. Got it. Thing for three thousand. Roll them. Ooh, six. Let's go. Dang, two star fight? Four, five, six. No two way. star fight. That'll get us two dice. That'll, that'll should make sure that we get to the end. Ready for a good challenge. me a little bit but it's fine got lucky that this wasn't one of those weird arenas where like the floor lit up on fire because maybe it could have <laughs> i forget i know that in some of the other games where you had to fight like the arena sort of stuff <laughs> we got a chicken sandwich worth three thousand yen thanks game and we got a couple of dice all right uh Looks like we have a fair chance we're going to run into a fight, but we could just as easily also run into lockpicking. Yeah. We could very likely run into a fight, but it's fine. Now. Ooh, another six. Dang. Four, five. Ooh, another two star fight. here also we do this fight we most definitely end up with enough enough uh dice to get through oh god wait what types of battle missions battle where you solely with double stick battle solely with sword with railgun in case some golden enemies appear defeat them purple enemies will appear so what is this? But like, can't remove this weapon. You cannot change combat styles. I, f I don't really remember this. But you know, it is what it is. I must use a sword. Okay, fine. I'll use a sword. Oh fuck! Ow, you mother of... Jeez. Get up, you... Jeez. What the... Damn it! That... 
gunshot sucked. Those gunshots sucked bad. I don't think it should carry over to my... Oh, yay! I got... It's like, yeah, the guns hit hard. But also, we are almost at the end of, of this this board, so... Yeah, we got five dice left. What was the thing to check prizes? Not that one. What the heck is it? No, no. Uh, let me see. Oh, square. There we go. Deadly Tiger X. See, none of these are things we actually need, though. Whatever. Let's just go. We'll get a bunch of extra money just for completing it. Roll and we win. I made it. Yeah! Huh. Uh -huh. Yay, we win! And we got a bunch of money. Sorta. Of. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, we got money for clearing it, and then we got money for the extra stuff that we got. So, 31,000 isn't that bad. But then again, it's not like we're really hurting for money. Alright, let's get back to the story. I don't think there's awesome. anything notable to get from here. That was a good run. Keep playing. Yeah, whatever punch out extract is. And now the short course is unlocked. What the heck is punch out extract? No. Oh, just makes it so that I can step better. Just stuff that I can use to make me do just a little better. Eh. Let's go. And we didn't take any permanent damage. Nope, it was all in VR. It's not one of those you, you die in VR, you die in real life. Yeah, how are you doing tonight, Ellie? Something shiny in the corner? Ah! Cross. Like this? Cheap plastic! Pick up some cheap plastic off the ground. Down the stairs? There's a little area over here. With the little person we can talk to a little bit like I think she tries to give hints and she's there to tell us that you have the ability to uh, yeah she tells us little hints about how to play the game oh yeah remember the little cube the cube cat things oh it's pretty much a given that it's Sana yeah, it's pretty much a given that this message is from Sana, because she's going through some things, especially after yesterday. And because she's basically the only one that ever messages us. Finally talked to the manager. How'd it go? He wasn't too thrilled at first. Then I showed him my new song, and he fell in love with it instantly. Like, he was totally floored. Nice. And you know what he said? That it would be a shame if the no dating policy was going to stifle my creativity. He told me he'd negotiate with the president of the company. Isn't that great? That's incredible. Here's hoping everything goes smoothly. <laughs> May I hear the song of yours now? <laughs> uh, honestly, like I can't tell which one is supposed to be the more positive answer. Like, here's hoping everything goes smoothly. This sounds more eager, right? So, may I hear that song of yours now? 
maybe next time. Oh. A little damage, but honestly, these guys in the street are nothing. Hey, look, it's Ryan. Late to the party. So late to the party. All right, we were gonna go. Oh yeah, we were gonna go back to the 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 guy over here. I guess since we're kind of in the neighborhood, we'll go visit and make sure the the baseball guy up here doesn't have anything new for us, because we still gotta become friends with him. Yeah, Ryan's trying. He shows up very quickly, but sometimes I just, uh, you know, demolish the enemy too fast. Nope, nothing new. Alright, the homeless guy... He went into the uh, game center. <clears throat> like, Ryan is fine. Like, he does a fine enough job. Not a wise choice. Ryan, get him! Get him, Ryan! Get him! Get him! Get him, Ryan! Do it! Ryan! Stop doing flippies and get him! Ryan! Get him! See, I'm, I'm giving Ryan a chance to be a hero, and... Ah, oh! You missed, Ryan. Ryan! Come on! Ryan! Ah, oh, there he got one! Yeah! Ryan, being the hero. Really, guys? Yeah, there we go. Ryan finally being the hero. Yeah, just like, I got him to low health, then, you know, Ryan, pick up the scraps. Just, just confirm the kill, or whatever. This way? Wait, can we even? Oh, he's in this, yeah, he's in this alley, he's not in the building. Yeah. Alright, we went to the thing, we didn't quite win, but... Hey, pal, how'd it go? Get me one of those sweet VR prizes? Sorry. Turns out I suck. <laughs> you couldn't do it, huh? Oh, well. Sorry for borrowing your legs. <laughs> Anyways, I asked around about your red nose fella. Still don't know where he is, but I did find who might. Yeah? At least that's what they told me. Oh, and speak of the devil. What? You're the one looking for that homeless guy? Yeah? You find him? No. No, not yet. Try heading over to the children's park then. Some volunteers are handing out free food. All the hungry homeless of Kamurocho will be there. Thanks for the tip. Eh, don't mention it. See ya. Alright. Let's... Oh, where are you? You heading to the children's park too? Me? Nah. I already ate. By the way, this guy I'm looking for, name's Red Nose. You know him? No, man. If you want to find him, you should go check that food handout. It's gonna end soon, you know. Children's Bark. Don't forget. I ain't forgetting. Children's Bark. Okay, that one. Let's see. I mean, we're in the neighborhood. Let's see if the Bantam owner wants to uh, vent to us a little bit. Because he vented to us once, and that got him halfway to being our friend. Uh-oh. Yo, it's Kaito. Where are you? On my way to the children's park. Think I might run into the thief. <clears throat> you mean the guy who robbed us is still in town? Not sure, but even if he isn't, I might find a lead or two. According to Ayabe, the thief was a homeless guy by the name of Red Nose. 
You're saying a bum took our money? Looks like it. No clue if he's still alive, though. After Higashi got to him, that is. Right. Well, I'm in. See you at the children's park, yeah? All right, let's go this way. Oh, message. And it's Sana again. So next time you're free, need something I need to confess? Whenever is a good time for you. Alright, if I head over tonight, that's fine. Should I wait at the office? Yes. Wait, we're meeting at the office this time? Jeez. Wait, what's with this guy? Oh. Uh, why couldn't he just make the damn drink? I don't know. I heard this is one of the oldest existing bars in Camarocho, too. Guess we expected too much, babe. Oh. Uh, what they did was set the bar too low. I want to do something else. Do oh, you want to go bowling, then? Um, fine. Whatever. Let's just go. Looks like something went down at Banton. Bantum. Wonder what happened. What happened? Hey. Hey there. Everything okay, Chief? Uh, just another tiresome customer. Did they leave their order up to you again? No. This time they ordered a cocktail. Hmm? And that's a problem? Well, it can be. Care to take a guess as to why? Hmm. A troublesome cocktail, huh? What could that be? Well, cocktail is difficult, like the ingredients. It's original from another bar. Didn't know how to make it. Like, it being difficult... I don't think sounds right. The ingredients, I don't think he'd be that, like, down about that. It being from another bar might be something. If he didn't know how to make it, so it's like either this one or it's this one. We'll go with the another bar. They tried to order an original cocktail from a different bar? Hi. Precisely. The problem is... If another bar invented it, it's not exactly in my wheelhouse, you know? Seriously. How would you even know how to make it? Uh, when I first got the order, I looked it up in the back room because I'd never heard of it before. I uh, couldn't find it at all, so then I asked the customer, and wouldn't you know it, they told me it was from another bar. At least I wanted to try to make it, so I asked them the recipe, but... They had no idea whatsoever. Huh. Yeesh. What a waste. Unfortunately, at that point, there was nothing I could do. I understand. It should be common sense to not do something like that. <laughs> well, I'm glad you think so. Friends? Friends. By the way, does a Bantam have their own original drink? We actually do not, but, uh, would you like me to prepare one on your behalf? Huh? You'd do that? Yes. I'll make it especially for you. Uh, since I see you around so often, I'll, I'll need you to, all I'll need you to do is say the word. Uh, the ultimate dewdrop. That actually does not get me healthy. Uh... How about some, uh, like, this place does not have that expensive of stuff. We are going to be drunk.
Good stuff. Back uh, to we are number six drunk. I think we can get like what is it? Nine. All right. Now we have. Now we are friends with that person. I think we need to get up to. I think it's twenty-five for the next batch of uh, missions to show up. We're kind of near tender. Let's run down there. Make sure they're. Hey, hey, hey! Get off of there! Yeah, we're kind of near tender. Wait, what is down this alley? Oh, that's what this is. Smoking area. Dented carbon. I don't know where that guy's cats are. Alright. Nothing! Uh, if we can get up to 25, we'll get access to whatever this one is. But we're at, what was it? We just unlocked, what was it, 24? So if we make another friend, we get access to another thing. Oh, yep. Yeah, Sana's down there. Let's go to the... St Wait, uh... Do you think... Yusuke would... You know, the Bantam owner would be nice for Yusuke? I honestly don't know. Well, we're kinda in the neighborhood. You know, this isn't a very big neighborhood, but yeah, we're kinda in the neighborhood. We can go see what... You see if it even is an option. Bombarded with foobage. Hmm. Nope. Does not like that guy. As an option. Like, we cannot find any friends to recommend to uh, Yusuke. Okay. We'll go to the story. Let's see. As far as friends go, it's like, this one is probably the easiest to do, since he just sends us on several missions. I have, like, I don't know how many times we have to visit with Madoka before we become friends with her. Like, that's another thing we can do, but right now, let's just stay a little focused on the story. And run through the streets drunk. What, 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 what was that? About... If I buy two hours at a soap land, can I bang for two hours straight? Is that what he just said? Just in the middle of the street? Okay, dude. Seriously. Something about Bromsom? Ramsama's new single is coming out. Guess we're doing this. And stay down. Did Ryan even get here? He didn't. Dang, 6,000? Alright. What? There's nothing over here.
Hey, sorry about this. Looks like they weren't handing out food after all. My bad. It's a little weird. Oh. 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 So we're doing this instead. <laughs> so we're doing this. Yep. <sighs> Red Nose sends his regards. Oh. Why, bums? Why did you have to? Like kicked him up and then just swung him like a Why'd you projectile. Jeez. We wanted to know who you are. Yeah. Why would someone want to know about Red Nose now? So you're a friend of his? Is he still alive? No. That stretch and hasn't been for a while now. He's not alive? Oh he die. About a year ago. Stretch and drink. Someone Thank you. found him floating face up Yeek. in the sewer. Body was all shot up with bullet holes. Shot? Did you go to the police? Why? No, of course not. What are the cops gonna do for us? Dead bum in a ditch is just more paperwork for them. Either way, his body's long gone. But we still want to find out what happened to him. Seriously. That's the best funeral we can give him now. <sighs> right. Well, we're trying to you know. So, their friend got murdered, so then they couldn't do a damn thing about it. Sure. Sounds like a thing that could happen in a Yakuza game. Someone gets murdered, and yeah. Don't have a clue who killed him, though. Or why. All we remember is that a year ago, some Tojo clan Yakuza was looking for him. Must be Higashi. Yeah. And is that Yakuza the one who killed Red Nose? <sighs> Not sure. Those types are kind of out of our league, you know? We thought if anyone would know something, it'd be you. That's why we... Sorry. <laughs> you tried to jump me? Got more fight in here some random yakuza fighting's been the only constant thing in his life <laughs> that's kamurocho for you you're late kaito san <laughs> is this the guy who was looking for red nose yep that's him not a doubt in my mind so a year ago, Higashi took the money back from Red Nose and returned it to the Matsugane family. Around the same time, Red Nose turns up ice cold in the sewer. Who do you think killed him? I... I just can't believe it. Higashi's not a murderer. Where would he have even gotten a gun? Yeah. There are ways. This is Gamurocho. Yeah. I mean, guns aren't a constant, I'm go talk but to yeah, they're around. You're coming too, right, Kaito-san? Don't you want to know what happened? Okay, I'll come. Let's head to Charles then. Let's hit it. Oh, are we taking a taxi? Oh, no, we're taking, you're going somewhere else. Uh, oh, we're just straight up going to the, the underground, whatever it was. And, oh, no, ha Asana's not there anymore. Shoot. Uh, uh, uh-oh. I guess we're not available for messages. We are tied in with what we're doing, so, yeah, let's go.
Yeah, we're not available for messages, so if Sana wanted to message us to say how unhappy she was that we didn't meet her, not gonna happen. I think it's probably because we have uh, Kaito with us now. sure we did these. Decor Oceans. 300 yen a spin. Sure, let's dirt. Let's turn this gotcha. That's a blowfish. I don't, I don't remember which ones we got or didn't get. Turn that gotcha. Blowfish. So yeah, like if we get if we get two of the same one in a row, we'll just uh, move along. Higashi-san, Yagami's here, and Kaito's with him. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Never thought I'd see you roll in here, Kaito-san. Only seemed fair after what you pulled. Look, we need to talk. <laughs> and about what, exactly? Higashi. Red Nose. Did you kill him last year? <laughs> who? Don't play dumb. <laughs> the guy who broke into the Matsugane family office. Look, we already know you got the money back from him. And not long after... Red Nose turned up dead in the sewers. As for the cause, it seems he'd been shot. Hey now! Motherfucker! How dare you! I need you to answer me. Did you kill Red Nose or not? Start talking, Higashi! <laughs> I did it for you, man. I could have just gotten the money. Maybe they wouldn't have kicked you out of the fucking family. I was ready to do whatever I needed to do. For Kaito, huh? If you really mean it, then drop the goddamn gun! Not a chance! So it's all on the table. You really gonna kill us, huh, Higashi? I mean, I'll fight you, if I gotta. It's over. You don't have enough bullets in that damn oh You can't kill us all. Oh, now you got no bullets. Like gave us an opening to steal the gun and empty it. Come on, yeah. This is what I pay you for, Kaito Sam. <laughs> Fuck yeah! This is what I pay you for. Alright. Let's trash the place. Got a couple of his side guys. Whoa! 
That is not what I thought I was going to do. Like, on screen, something did things I was not expecting. Alright, teamwork! Teamwork! that program open. I didn't. I didn't kill him. What? I'm not the one who murdered Red Nose. You could have just who told us that. It? Red Nose must have had a contact in the Matsugane family. That's the only way he got away with it. And whoever that contact was gave him all sorts of info. When security was light where the safe was, not to mention when there'd be the most money. There's no way you steal from the Yakuza without some help. So, is Red Nose's contact the one who killed him, to cover it all up? Probably. But who would have done something like that? Who? Stealing their own family's money. It wasn't about the money. Huh? Mm -hmm. They wanted to rub you out of the picture, Kaito. That's what didn't happened happen. when you were on guard duty. To rub me out? If that's it, then the contact must have been... Yeah, Captain Hamra. You were the only thing between him and total control of the family. With you gone, he could consolidate his power. At least that's how he saw it. And he wasn't wrong. Just look at it now. Yeah. Now he's basically in no charge. Nobody can stand up to the captain anymore. With the power and money he's got, he's the only thing keeping us afloat. So, Hamura staged a robbery and pinned it on Kaito to get him expelled. But if Higashi knows all that, why is he at Hamura's beck and call? How exactly did Red Nose die? Hmm. You know, don't you, Higashi? It was the day after the hundred mil went missing. After Kaito Anaki got expelled. I bought some info from a dirty cop. Led me right to the name Red Nose. I asked all around town. Till eventually I ended up down in the sewers. But me and Red Nose, we weren't the only two there. You found Hamura, didn't you? They were making a deal. Amara was going to get 90 mil. Red Nose would have walked away alive. And? And 10 million yen richer at that. Should have been all wrapped up. Clean and easy. Time for a flashback. Yes? Yes. Wow. Who's there? That is not good Come stealth. Out. Amura, is that him? It's Higashi, sir. <laughs> Sorry to bark. It's Higashi, like sir. This. Feel Higashi. free to kill me now that I know things. What in the fuck are you doing here? Are you alone? I, uh, I don't know if you realize, but that's the guy. That's Red Nose. He yes. stole the hundred mil from our office. Exactly. Sorry, Red Nose. <clears throat> this is nothing personal. <gasps> oh. Oh. Captain. Huh? Huh? 
It's like, now I can kill you, or you can be, you know, hey, under my thumb. That's really a good idea. Tell me, how'd you find out Red Nose was the thief? He was there. I, uh, I, well, I, uh, I, uh, what was I supposed to do? I told him everything. How I was in the office when the thief broke in and stole the money. How I bought police info from Ayabe and followed the trail to Red Nose. I kept talking, like my fucking life depended on it. Probably did, to be honest. Yeah. Hmm. Real insightful. You did all that so you could clear your buddy Kaito's name, huh? Aren't you just the most loyal boy in town? Please, don't shoot. Whatever it is you want, I'm begging you, Captain. But, Captain, hold on. You sure? Huh, probably right. You want to stay alive, you show us some loyalty. Hmm. Prove yourself once and for all. But how? How can I? Here's how. What? He wouldn't have had to die if you didn't show your sorry face. Not only that, he would have walked away ten million richer. Poor son of a bitch. His blood's on your hands, you know. No! <laughs> I just put the gun in his hand. Oh, wow. You scream like a fucking whore. Wow, dude. Kind of a turn on, to be honest. Dude. <laughs> what are you so upset for? You're finally a real Yakuza now. Like, is that the end of the chapter? I forget. So we gotta be getting close to the end of this one. So you really didn't kill him, huh? No. But people know I was out looking for him. My prints are all over the gun, too. No matter how you look at it, I don't got an alibi. True. Cops probably would suspect him. You said it yourself. I look like a real Yakuza now. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, what if we told Matsugane-san about this? Think he could put the squeeze on Hamura? Not a chance. The boss can't stop him anymore. Telling him would just make things worse. That's why Higashi kept it a secret. Tough as it sounds, it was the right move. Right. Hell of a thing. All right, I'm gonna go, Kaito-san. Mm hmm? This is between the two of you now. I'm sure you've got a lot to catch up on. Not sure what it is. I just can't stand that guy. <laughs> yeah? I mean, he's known you way longer than I have. And the boss has his back, even though he never swore up. I don't know. Something's just off about him. Hey, you ever hear what happened to his dad? Nope. What happened? Let me start from the beginning. From what I've heard, he was a stand-up guy. <laughs> Taught him kung fu and everything. He was a lawyer, too. Oh, yeah? Things changed when Tak was 15. His dad took a dead to rights murder case and actually managed to get an acquittal. One of the victim's relatives wasn't too happy about that, though. Huh?
When Tak was younger, his parents were both <clears throat> stabbed to death. Tak was at a friend's house when it happened. He was there to avoid them, pissed about the hours they were working. But maybe if he'd been home, maybe he could have done something, anything. Maybe his parents would still be alive. So this guy who killed the family, did they ever catch him? He hung himself at the scene of the crime. Tragic doesn't even begin to describe it. Tak ended up coming to Kamurocho right after that. Didn't want any help from his relatives, neither. So he lied about his age and snagged a job at Tender. Got it. So that's when he met you, huh? Yeah. And if you want the truth, I wasn't too big on the guy at first, either. I was pretty green at the time, too. But here comes this 15-year-old punk picking a fight with the Yakuza my size. <laughs> the ball's on that one. <clears throat> Probably thought he stood a chance. <laughs> Probably. Until I broke his nose. But no matter how much he gets beaten down, Tok's not the kind of guy to give up. Every time I beat the crap out of him, he'd act like it was no big deal. Then one day, and I couldn't tell you why, Matsugane-san took a shine to him. This weird father-son thing just kind of happened. Tak wouldn't listen to anyone else. For me and you, becoming Yakuza was our only choice. But for him, it was different. And if I had to guess, the boss could see that. And that's why he took him in. Tak didn't let him down, though. Ended up passing the bar exam not long after. I remember. Wasn't too pleased with it myself. <laughs> but that's all in the past. It's different now. He's a dead man walking. What do you and Matsugani-san still see in him? I could ask the same question about a guy who got kicked out for letting his safe get robbed. Kamurocho chews up guys like us, and when it spits you out, you're right back on the street. But me and him, we grew up here. We don't have another home. So even if it means butting heads with Captain Hamura, we're gonna see this shit through. Anaki. Captain's word is absolute for now but if he ever gave the order to off you I might have to think twice about <laughs> it <laughs> I think I can live with that like I might have to think twice okay there we're finally out of chapter three <laughs> Oh boy. Let's see, when did we start chapter three? We started chapter three on the eighth. I mean jeez. Oh what have we been playing this? Like I guess we did take that one whole week off playing uh Bioshock. But yeah, it's like chapter two started like in the middle of May. Wow, we we are not we are not making good time. Let's let's just put it at that. We are not making the best time on this. Uh, this one. All right, skeletons in the closet. So they they touched on it there. Uh, Yagami's whole situation with his parents. When we when I went through this game the first time, I honestly. I honestly expected that they were leading towards some kind of like opening up the cold case of, or, you know, opening up the case of his parents and their death. Like it was something that needed to be sorted out. 
Because there was something just a little too clean about the the supposed killer, you know, killing himself, you know, hanging himself at the scene of the crime after, you know, committing double murder. Like, it seemed just a little, I don't know. Like, they never went anywhere with it, which is, yeah, which was the weirdest thing. As Yagami chases the mole, the Matsugani family's net tightens. A year ago, Kaito was expelled from the family, and its power structure changed entirely. But the whole thing was a setup. In Kamarocho, men are pulled into the criminal underworld's currents. But those that refuse to submit to its tides will always struggle. Skeletons in the closet. Oh god. So, Higashi, tell me, you have a good reason you aren't doing what I asked? No, I don't, boss. You sure could use one with talk still hanging around. It's time to start doing your damn job! Oh! It's awfully tense lately. Uh, kind of kills the whole room, you know? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Mm. He's always in such a bad mood. <laughs> oh! Oh, dang! Jeez. Okay. <laughs> Let me bring you up to speed. We literally just started the the chapter. Um. One dead. Once we get out of this uh, in the cutscene. Tojo clan's Matsugane office shooting. Dead guy's name was Kurimoto. Been in the family for years. Did I know him? Doubt it. He didn't make a habit of standing out. Well, at least they got the killer. Apparently he says he's just an office worker. Bullshit. Guy's a Kyore assassin, no doubt. You sure? Yep. At least that's what Higashi told me. Oh, you mean the guy who was ready to shoot me the other day? <laughs> <laughs> you still sore about that? Anyway, according to Higashi, this guy shot Kurimoto three times in the torso. Then, he shot both his eyes out. Why? Must be the Kyore's idea of revenge. If things keep going like this, though, even the Tojo clan proper might end up getting involved. So the Kyore uh, clan wants a war. Looks like it. Kamurocho is turning into a goddamn battlefield. Yeah, the cutscene. All right, so let me bring you up to speed. Uh, at the end of the last chapter, 
we were trying to find red nose. Let's see, I think it should be here in the case file. So we were trying to find this guy, red nose. And so red nose, we went looking for him. We found a uh, a homeless guy in an in a parking lot. Ah. <clears throat> found a homeless guy in a parking lot. And he was like, I might know something, but then we had to go play VR first to sort of kill the time until he was done with his investigation or, you know, going off to find information. And so, yeah, then we went to a children's park that we were told might have information for us. And when we got there, the guy was like, why are you looking for Red Nose? We're a whole bunch of homeless guys and we're going to beat you up. So... I had to beat up some homeless guys because, because, and then we found out that it was uh, Higashi here, who was supposedly responsible for uh, Red Nose's death. So when we went to confront Higashi about it, we found out that Higashi was actually just being used as a pawn for Hamura, because... While Higashi was there during the the uh, was that the robbery, he you know he went through all sorts of process with Ayabe finding evidence and everything because he thought that he could get uh, Kaito back into the family, but Higashi just ended up under uh, Hamura's thumb. Hamura more or less set up the situation where. He hasn't, where uh, Higashi does not have any viable alibi, so if anyone actually did investigate the Red Nose murder, he'd, you know, be right there. Uh, Kaito and uh, Yagami, they went and investigated, you know, they went and visited Higashi, fought everybody in that, uh, in, you know, in his little sub-clan area. And, yeah, then we found out about all the Higashi and Hamara and Red Nose stuff. After that ended up, we had the, the new scene start where uh, Hamara is super not happy about Higashi and his group. And then some rando dude, uh, let's see, yeah, some rando dude ended up, uh, Nope, it's not this one. It's this one. So this shooter suspect ended up shooting Kurimoto. Just just in the middle of the street, like it was just whatever. That's more or less what's gone on so far. We didn't we didn't really have time to do too many other extra things so far. But yeah. That pretty much would bring you up to speed. Yeah, there's no side cases at the moment. We're kind of also waiting on our uh, on uh, Sana. Sana sent us a message and said that she wanted to meet with us at the uh, at the uh, office. So chances are, as soon as we leave, she'll be like outside waiting for us. Any jobs here? Nope. We still need. I think we still need one more level in reputation to get whatever this one is. Let me see if I can remember where it is. Yeah, right there. We have level 24 for reputation. So once we get one more level of reputation, we'll have a couple more side cases that we can do. Wait, can we talk to him? Hey, gosh, he was in the office when the shooting happened. Probably wouldn't hurt to swing by the arcade and get the scoop. Okay. Wait. Anything else? Hey, gosh, it was probably oh, no. wouldn't hurt. Same. All right. Let's go. Probably talk to Sana because, yeah, she's probably right down here. Unless she got reset somehow. Oh. Why is Hashina Kun calling me? Hello? Oh, this is Yagami. Yagami-san! 
Yagami-san, you gotta help me. Hey, uh, what's the matter? There's been an incident at the Genda Law Office. Huh? What do you mean? Just something terrible happened. You gotta get down here. Yeah. All right, uh, I'll be right there. Nope. Uh, she's not here. Uh oh. We we told uh. Oh, there's a side thing right here too. Yep, we're we're in a new chapter, so there's a bunch of side stuff just around now. Also, um, did we miss the window to meet with Sana? Because it'll probably happen again, but yeah, at this moment, something ain't right. Yeah. Alright, so, do we go do whatever this side thing is, or do we immediately investigate the Gendal Law Office? So it looks like there's also something over here, too. Like, there's always side stuff. There's so many side stuff. Here, we'll go to... This is on the way there, so we'll go see what we can find out. But, yeah, no, I, I told Sana that I would meet her, and then, you know, we got cut up in story stuff. I didn't think it would be a problem, but, yeah, I don't know what became of her. Ooh, something. Stop punching me! Part of not punching me, don't you understand? Hey, Ryan, you're a little late. Okay, it looks like there's a side case right here. But what? I don't see anything showing. Hmm. We go, we go now to the bombing incident in Camarocho, where it seems we have an update on the device found at the scene. Oh no, it's more with the bomber. They're still looking into that bombing. According to newly released police reports, the bomb was handcrafted and included a remote-controlled timer. The police are continuing to search for any evidence that may lead to the culprit. Citizens are encouraged to call the police should they see any suspicious persons or unattended bags. In other news, the baby panda born last month continues to show healthy growth. And so basically, they're hoping to find a lead? A blocked number! Could it be from the bomber? Answering this could lead to trouble. But should I? Um, yes. Hello? <laughs> Answer it. Hello? <laughs> the police are useless. Wouldn't you agree, Yakami-san? Mad bomber strikes again. Oh, no. Are you the bomber? Why do you know my name? I have done my homework. You're a private eye, aren't you? That's none of your business. <laughs> Don't be like that, Yagami. This is fun, isn't it? Shut the hell up. Are you sure it's wise to take this attitude with me? Or would you rather try to find the next bomb without any hints? What? <laughs> that certainly changed your tune. I can hear it in your voice. I can feel the tension rising. What do you get out of this? What's your motive? Camarocho's security system is so full of holes. The city should have sunk by now. What? 
<laughs> Don't you feel like a fool for paying taxes when this is what the government has to show for it? A criminal wasting tax dollars on bombs has no business bringing that up. <laughs> I like your style, Yakumi-san. Well, I would love to debate this further. I'm afraid time's running short. Let's get started. Shall we? You bastard. Uh, this new bomb I've set up in Camarocho packs a real punch. There's an ox inside the inn. That's where you'll find it. An ox in an inn. Ha 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 ha! Five minutes, Yagami-san. The clock's ticking. An ox inside an inn. I know one of the uh, one of the businesses has like a giant like cow or whatever outside, right? The ox in an inn. I have to think. Somewhere, or like, somewhere over here, maybe. Let's see, search. Steakhouse? No. No, I don't remember. No. Wait, is that the one? No. Like, where is the ox? I don't remember. It's not shellac. Wouldn't be that. Sushi gin doesn't make sense. Yeah, the sushi place, yeah, it does not make sense. Well, crap. It's not that wild Jackson. Well, that was all of those businesses. Well, crap. Um, like, no, I don't want to talk about darts. I want to know about Phantom doesn't have a thing out front of it. Which place has it? I can't remember. Ugh, I don't remember where it is, but I know there's a place that has like just a giant bull outside and I don't remember where it is it's like I know there's a place that has a giant bull outside and I cannot for the life of me remember where it is right now at least I'm thinking that there there Uh, is there a thing in here? Uh, well, I guess this isn't the place. Shit. Uh, well, crap. Um, something about the apartment next to the bull, right? up here. I'll just run myself into a wall. It'll be fine. Uh, up we go. Are they in here? No, that's Montai. We still have three minutes left. Maybe we can find it.
Higher up? Okay, higher up. This one? I don't know. Nope. Nothing out here. Oh, well, we are screwed. I, this was my one guess, and I must have guessed wrong. Shoot. Find the bomb. Find the bomb. Find the bomb. Find the bomb. Where's the bomb? Is it like a way up to the roof or something? Oh, shit. Only have three minutes. Not good. What does he mean by ox? An ox. A cow. There are two Akashimaru locations in Kamurocho. Where's the inn come into play? Apartment. The one in the hotel district? Are you crapping me? Whatever. Let's run. All right. We run now. <clears throat> we got two and a half minutes. Let's go. Crap. I don't know how to stairs. Quickly. Nope, 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 no time for this. No time for fighting. Go! We got two minutes left. Go! Because it's. What up here? I'm not here to defend myself. I'm here to get to the bomb. In an inn. Must have meant Akashimaru in the hotel district. Where's the bomb? There. I found it. Just sitting on the sidewalk. Sure. Same design. I'll just pull the wire out like last time. Quality bomb defusal. There. Did it stop? Yes. The countdown stopped. Phew. Didn't go off. You need to stop this. <laughs> Wonderful. You've done wonderfully, Yagami-san. Listen, you son of a... Hold your tongue. Something about that voice that's just getting me. <clears throat> Oh, boy. Yeah, no, I don't know what it is, but that voice. But, wow. <clears throat> if you want something to blame, blame Camarocho, not me. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but there's something about that voice that just, like, is right in there in my throat. What do you mean? This could have... This couldn't happen if Camarocho had invested properly in its security system. The automation of our lives, the citizens who accept it, the whole country is at fault. Is that anger I detect? What's wrong? You mad that nothing exploded? Save your taunts. You'll eat your words when you fail next time. Ha 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 Next time? Hey. Still not done with this? What is his goal here? Damn it. There we go. We got it. Well, let's see if this guy here has anything new to sell us. Hey, look, it's our landlady. Uh, 
Okay, we got one other story thing. I'm still worried because uh, Sana hasn't shown up again. Yeah, Sana hasn't shown up again, and I'm worried about that. But let's, you know, we're in the general neighborhood. Let's actually do the story. It's not red. There we go, red. <laughs> funniest thing about this is like you can jump right out the window when you're on there instead of having to like try to take the elevator yeah it's like if you want out just jump out the window machina coon what's going on huh wait what the you did it you did it you so admit it already. Huh? I told you, I didn't do it. There's no point in lying. Hey. Hey. Yagami-san! Yagami-san, you came! Yagami-kun. Yagami-kun. Ah. Mei Fuyu's here too? Hashino-kun, what in the world is going on? I thought this was serious. This is serious. As you can see, Sari-san and Meifuyu-san have accused me of a crime. A crime, huh? Uh, yeah, and I'm innocent, I tell you. One thing to learn. Don't ever use the phrase, I tell you, after trying to prove a statement. People don't believe you. That's, that's like... You, if you use the phrase "I tell you," how does it? How does the old joke go? The joke is like, you could say literally anything that is actually legitimately true by all metrics. If you say "I tells you," you know, like prospector kind of style. Afterwards, no one will ever, 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 ever believe you. Just be like, the sky is blue. I tells you. Like, uh... Dogs and cats are different animals, I tells you! Like, I don't know. Like, there's something about that. It's like, you could say literally anything. The most truthful, honest, whatever thing known to man. And, yeah, no. It's, you know, you say I tells you, and that's enough. That's enough to kill it all. Well... Here we go. <laughs> Why may fool you? What is... Th What's he suspected hey. of? Machine kun What does Sari-san think you did? No. I didn't do anything! She's just upset about her stupid cake! Hmm? Her... Cake? Yes! I I've been accused of eating the cake she had in the fridge! What do you think? I tell you what. I mean, that doesn't really work out too well all the time either, but, like, you add that to the end of, like, even a reasonable statement. You have some maybe down home sort of believability, but it's like, yeah, I tell you what. <laughs> it's like, it's a little bit off too. But yeah, it's like, I think, yeah, the, the standing joke was, if you add the phrase, I tells ya, to the end of any statement, it really, 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 really doesn't matter what you say. Propane. And propane accessories? Huh? This is not, an, this is not just any old stupid cake we're talking about. The, it was from Gogeto. It was a special event cake. I, I really don't know where her voice is. Like, I think I was able to get like, 
like somewhere in like the Daria register for the first playthrough, but I just don't have it right now. I don't even know. It was a special cake that I waited in line for hours to get. Huh? Huh? Is is this really happening right now? Uh, in that case, why is Meifuyu involved? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not. I just happened to drop in on a work-related issue. And you got dragged into this. Mm -hmm. Sarah's pretty worked up. I made inquiries, and it sounds like Hoshina-kun is really the only one who could have done the deed. <laughs> That's why Meifuyu is prosecuting the case for me. <sighs> prosecuting. Is that how it is? <laughs> uh, why is he the only one suspected? Hey. Okay, I'll bite. Why is Hoshinokun the most likely suspect? Hoshinokun was the only one who even knew about the cake. Only because she was bragging about having gotten in the first place. How does that make me a suspect? Okay, we need facts. When was the cake last seen? I went home around 8 p.m. last night, and the cake was most certainly in the fridge at the time. There was... There, I was here for another two hours, so... After that, uh, but nobody else came in. You're not helping your cause. Hmm. Then presuming Hoshino-kun is innocent, it had to have been eaten between 10 p.m. and this morning. Are you sure you locked up the office? Okay. Uh, yes, I'm sure. Jeez. There are no signs of forced entry, so... I think the rules, I think that rules out any external parties as the culprit. I see. And uh, who unlocked the office this morning then? Genda Sensei got, he got here before me, but he left as soon as I came in. After that, Meifuyu san arrived. Saori san was the last to arrive. Hmm. And that's when I discovered my cake was gone. <laughs> it's like an actual legit case. But uh, that would mean Genda Sensei is also a suspect. He could have eaten it when he was alone in the office. No. No way. Genda Sensei is a Japanese sweets man. He doesn't go for Western cakes and pastries. <sighs> That's your justification? Although, I guess he wouldn't have much of a motive if it's true. Hey! You're... you're up against the wall, Hoshina-kun. Why don't you just come clean? Huh? Meifuyu-san, please! I'm telling you, I didn't do it! The longer you hide your crimes, the heavier your sentence is going to be, Hoshino-kun. Objection! <laughs> just do, yeah, just do the ace attorney stuff. Just like, objection! If you ask me, Meifuyu-san is pretty suspicious too. Huh? Excuse me? Did you just yell objection for the fun of it? <laughs> yes. That, that is a perfectly reasonable thing to yell. Hey. And, uh, what do you... What do you care to tell the court? What you meant... And do you take... Yeah. And do you care to tell the court what you meant by that little comment? Uh, after Meifuyu came in, I left my desk to go to the bathroom. And uh, let's say uh, I was gone for about 15 minutes. Meifuyu-san could have easily scarfed down that whole cake in that time. Wow. Okay. Huh? Why? Why would I? This is baseless conjecture. Do you have any evidence to back up your statement? Actually, I do. Huh? Huh? 
Don't think I didn't hear it. When you came in this morning, <laughs> your stomach growled. <laughs> what? You heard that? Yes. Yes. You skipped breakfast this morning, didn't you? Naturally, you'd be hungry. So you figured you'd just peek in the fridge. And that's when you discovered an exquisite little cake. You couldn't help yourself. You dug right in. Am I wrong? Huh? Yes. Yes, you are. As a matter of fact, besides, a growling stomach is hardly admissible evidence. <laughs> May Fuyu's stomach sounds as evidence. I mean, the game seems to think it's evidence, so yeah. Yagami-san. Yagami-san, you're up. Hmm? I am. Please, take my case and defend me. Uh, if you don't, Saori-san will glare at me for the rest of my life. Well, if we're talking business, I guess I can take this one. Please? I I'm counting on you. Okay. Apparently this is really happening, so... First place is a good lawyer. Starts is the crime scene. wonder if the wrapper is still in trash. Justice is sweet. Hmm. Let's see, this is the kind of situation where there's got to be a cat around. Are you a cat? No. No. Where's the cat? There's got to be a cat. There's always a cat. Well, pretty much always a cat. Let's look down this way first. For the cat. Cat? I heard the meow, though, too, you know. He's making the noise, and I heard the meowing, so it's gotta be here somewhere. Whoa. See, I hear it. Is it out the window? Oh god, it's out the window! Suspicious. Yeah, god, the cat is out the window. Come on! But well, we found it! Oh, look! A cat! Oh, this game and it's Stray Cats. Okay. There was something at her desk to look at. Suspicious. Ah. This is Sari San's desk. It's immaculate. Yes. Well, <laughs> look who we're talking about. <laughs> My desk is opposite hers. Seeing her clean desk is actually pretty motivating. Motivating, huh? Is is it the neat desk or the person who sits at it that's motivating you? Huh? Oh, what are you implying? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. You're just an open book. Come on, Yagami-san. Don't tease. Is there any, like, can we look at his desk? Is there anything to learn from it? No. Like, okay. Wait. Hmm. There's something over here that it was focusing on. May boo you. What are you doing? Nothing. All right, into the kitchen. Refrigerator. Hey. Hmm. So, this is a refrigerator where the crime happened. <gasps> hmm. The ice tray is melted. Or did someone forget to freeze it? No. No, nah, couldn't be. Nobody's using ice in the winter, probably. And I didn't see anyone use it yesterday. Hmm. Then why did it melt? It's interesting. Where, where, where be the trash? That's not a cake wrapper. Uh, garbage? Search for the cake wrapper. So would the cake wrapper be like uh -huh. back here somewhere and I missed it? 
Genda, did you leave the cake wrapper back here? I'm not finding a cake wrapper. Also because I don't know what a cake wrapper looks like. Hmm. Aha! Garbage! What the? Ah. Seeing the trash can is empty. It's usually bursting at the seams. Okay. We take out the trash every day now, on a rotating shift. Who was in charge of it today? Genda Sensei. Huh? Huh? Even Genda Sensei pitches in? <laughs> oh, well, it's more of punishment for him. Saori san made him do it. Genda Sensei is really lazy about sorting his trash, so I kind of blew up at him. I said to him, Don't you even consider the people who have to take the trash out? Then he said, He'd start pitching in on trash duty. I'm surprised he, you had the guts to say that to him. Yagami-san. Yagami-san. The other trash cans are empty too. It seems Genda Sensei takes trash duty seriously. Noted. Thanks for checking. Empty trash. Hmm. Well, this cake must have had a wrapper. Is is there anywhere else it could have been thrown? Well, I suppose it could have uh, washed out with the rest of the containers in the kitchen? Yeah. Let's have a look. Finding that wrapper is going to blow this case wide open. Investigate the kitchen and all of the open containers of milk. If I remember, it's something like the the refrigerator went bad or something. Uh huh. That's the real Suspicious. thing. Suspicious. No wrappers, but looks like we've got milk cartons. They've been washed out and neatly compacted. Yagami san. Uh, those are Saori san's milk cartons. Uh, they weren't there last night, so whoever was on cleaning duty must have done it. <laughs> uh, Saori san scolds anyone who doesn't tidy up after themselves. Ah. <sighs> But there's three of them. She's not drinking that much milk, is she? I, I kind of doubt it. Maybe she threw them out for some reason. Uh-huh. That makes me think something is not right with the refrigerator. Also, we found the cat. That was the important part. No, I want to see the cat. There we go. Meow. Yagami-san. Yagami, are you finished with your investigation? If so, we should start the hearing. Huh? The hearing? Are you really going to trial with this? Of course. Mefuyu, or should I say Prosecutor Fuji? I'm sorry, Fuji E. Are you prepared to present your case? <sighs> Fine. I've been dragged this far. May as well see it through. Please. Then. The court is now in session for defendant Ise, Ise Hoshino. Ise, Isai Hoshino. Prosecutor Fuji. Six decades old? I didn't watch a whole lot of Seinfeld. That sounds like really old cake. Yeah, that sounds like real old cake. But then again... Wasn't the whole premise of that show that the people in that show are just terrible people doing terrible things constantly? Your opening statement, please. Uh, well, if 
prosecution is firmly of the belief that Hoshino-kun is the only viable culprit. And your proof? The defendant is arguing that you yourself could be the culprit. Your Honor, uh, I have a counter-argument to that assertion. Hmm. Proceed, Prosecutor Fuji. If I'd been the one who ate it, something that should be present is missing from the crime scene. Yagami-kun. Right, Yagami-kun. You can corroborate this statement, I take it. Hmm? Me? Hmm. Mefuyu really ate the cake. Something that should exist is missing. The proof of that is... The empty trash can. The trash can at the scene was empty because its contents were removed this morning. Okay. Yes. Genta sensei was the first one in the office, and that's probably when he took out the trash. Which means, if Meifuyu had eaten the cake, she would have had to discard the wrapper afterward. And since we've all confirmed that the trash can is empty... Hey. Uh, you have a point. Right. There was no wrapper in the trash can, which means I couldn't have eaten the cake. That is not how that works. And we thoroughly searched every trash can. They're all clean as a whistle. I see. This is pretty conclusive evidence. That's evidence? You're, you're counting that as conclusive evidence. Nope. Hold it. Sorry, son. I can present a counter-argument here. Okay. The court will hear the defense's objection. Alright. While the wrapper may not be in the trash can, we can't rule out that you didn't hide the evidence. <laughs> objection! Predictable Yagami-kun. I'd like to present the court with some new evidence. Mm -hmm. New evidence. While you were searching the room, I performed my own investigation, naturally. Boss bought a slice at auction for thousands of dollars, and when he wasn't at the office, she decided to sneak a bite, and then another, and suddenly it was gone. I mean, yeah, the, yeah, the, well, how did it, the show ended with them basically going to jail because they were terrible people. That's, I think that was the way it ended, right? The, like, everybody in that main friend group was just, just chock full of awful people. And yeah, that's just another one of those incidents of them being awful people. While you were searching the room, I performed my own investigation, naturally. That's when this document on Sari's desk caught my eye. Two episodes in court, everyone. Yeah, like, I, I vaguely remember hearing about, you know, the last couple episodes where it's just like, they just trotted out lots and lots of characters from earlier stuff, and it was just like, and this character was wronged by them, and this character was wronged by them, and this, and this, and it's like, then they got sent to jail just because they were just so awful. Huh? Reveal a power outage. Relevance. Relevance, prosecutor. seems there was a blackout last night scheduled from 11 p.m. to 9 a.m. this morning. Uh, I do remember Genda Sensei saying something about that. He, he warned that the whole office not to keep anything in the fridge or it would spoil. Hey. Huh. I remember that too. But I had something urgent come up so I left and forgot all about it. Hmm. Hmm. Then that means... Precisely. If the cake was left inside the fridge with no power on, it would have spoiled. Despite being winter, it is. it has been unseasonably warm. Hmm. If anyone ate the cake, they'd know it was spoiled after a single bite. Right. There is no way anyone would go through eating the whole thing. Hmm. But the whole cake has vanished. Someone must have devoured the fresh cake. 
there's only one span of time when that's possible. Not this morning, after the cake would have spoiled, but last night, when it was still fresh. Ugh. Hey, wait! I'm afraid so, Hoshina-kun. The only one who could have eaten it was the one who closed up. Hoshina-kun, it can only be you. No way! <laughs> that face! Jeez, man. <laughs> Jesus, man. Objection. Objection. <laughs> yeah, we're we're just full on Ace Attorney now. Just like slam, like just like slam his hands on the on like the oh, what's it the counter or whatever. Objection. Oh, no wait, objection is this one, and then slam it down was like hold it. Excuse me. Um. Does the defense have further arguments? Yep. Yes. I think it's too early to pronounce a verdict. There's one more possibility. Huh? This better be good. The cake wasn't the only thing that went missing from the fridge. I have evidence to prove it. Uh, the milk cartons. The milk Sarison put in the fridge has been dumped, washed out, and neatly compacted. In other words, the milk was also removed from the fridge. Three cartons, to be precise. Genda Sensei must have done, done it during his cleaning duty, an act forced upon him by the victim herself. Hmm. Um, I'm not following, Yagami. Let's consider. What would drive Genda Sensei to do this? Why would he discard three milk cartons at once if there was some left? You're right. That's certainly an odd thing to do. Why? There's one particular piece of evidence that points to the logic behind his actions. The power outage. Check this mm -hmm. out. The power outage? Well... Defense, does this line of reasoning have a point? What would happen to milk left inside the fridge for a whole night without electricity? Uh, I believe it would go bad. And if Genda Sensei, who had cleaning duty, found the milk that had gone bad, he would throw it away. Oh, and then it seems the prosecution is beginning to see the light. Which means, the true culprit that ate Sauri san's cake is... Nobody! No one ate the cake. In other words, there is no culprit to blame. Huh? What? I can't believe this. Hey. You're implying Kenda sensei threw away the spoiled cake. <clears throat> Yeah, that's about the sum of it. Saori said herself that she hurried home last night due to an urgent matter. The outage slipped her mind entirely. Thus, when Genda Sensei found the cake had spoiled, he did his duty and discarded it. You're saying I kind of jumped to conclusions? Oh. Wow, quite a crowd in here. What brings you by, Yagami and Mifuyu-kun? Oh, welcome back, Inda sensei Say, who left that cake and uh, all that milk in the fridge overnight? <sighs> Didn't I practically beat you guys over the head about that power outage? Oh, hey, Mimo with the raid. Hope you're doing well. Just kick that door down. And, uh, on a cleaning day, too. It's rude to make people go through spoiled food, you know. And just beat him over the head. 
Yeah, he, he really wanted in that door, and it didn't matter if there was a guy there. <sighs> like, they all jumped to conclusions, and, you know, Yoshino took the brunt of it. I believe the words were, don't you even consider the people who have to take the trash out. You hate hardware issues? Oh, what happened this time? And what happened with your hardware issues this time? Your words, right, Shirosaki-kun? <laughs> well, having to deal with all that spoiled food, I understand the meaning all too well now. I... I... I'm so sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Yagami-san. It looks like you... Looks like I'm cleared of suspicion. <laughs> and I sent in Saori-san to cleaning duty for one month straight, starting tomorrow. I'm sorry. There... There are no words to express my remorse. Couple days, computer was... Random malish... Stopping dis... Ew. It's around patterns. Had something to do with the system update. Ooh. Hopefully it, like hopefully it's nothing, you know, especially bad. But yeah, that that is weird. Cause I know I had a I had a monitor that was going bad that just randomly would decide, you know what? No. I'm it was like a, a monitor yeah, I had a monitor that was ready to die that was just like, nope. You can tell me in a sec. Like so was it, it was something in the system? Although, yeah, you're saying hardware issues. As my defense attorney, I'd like to get, I'd like you to have this, Yagami-san. Thanks. I gotta say though, I'm pretty shocked. Saori-san stays cool under pressure, but as soon as Sweets got involved, you have no idea how long I've been looking forward to that cake. I can appreciate it, but as lawyers, we need to keep our heads on straight at all times. I'll work on that. Case closed, I guess. A uh, pretty turbulent day for the justice, for the criminal justice system. And several instances of them doing, like, full-on ace attorney kind of nonsense. Kamurocho is pretty tense right now. No thanks to the Matsugane family and the Kyore clan being at each other's throats. Better ask Higashi about it. Uninstalled drivers, reinstalled, no change, couldn't figure that out. Video, notice... Okay... That may be what. Jeez. So many, so many issues. Oh, can we talk to her again? I heard someone got shot at the Matsugane family office last night. Hit the computer yeah. a couple times. Was it someone you knew? I mean, yeah, just a name I'd heard. Wait, were you actually worried about me? Oh. No. Worried. Not at all. Oh, the fan might have got stuck. They're like, that, I suppose that would make it heat up a bit <laughs> if the fan did get stuck in there somewhere. Like, yeah, I don't know if you have anything to clean that sort of thing out. Hell, I know I really should. I should do stuff to clean out my computer, but never do. Yeah. Anything else? I heard someone got shot at the mother. Yeah. Was it someone you knew? Nah, just a name. Wait, were you actually working? No. no. Oh, we can talk to him. Hey, Yagami. Are you butting heads with Hamura? No, he not called at me all. to complain about it. Said to keep your nose like out if, of his case. If the temperature well, went down and that actually that. You know, got it working me. reasonably again, that's wanted to make you know, sure you're sounds okay. good. I'm good. He's a little preoccupied now anyway. There was a shooting at the Matsugane family office. Yeah, I heard. This damn city gets rougher every day. Rougher. 
Oh, he said, oh, I'm, it was yeah. Just making sure there wasn't anything special. Okay, we came here just for that one little side case where we investigate the sand or the uh, not sandwich, uh, cake. Let's go. I think there is another side thing that we can mess around with. Jump out the window! I mean, it's quicker than taking the elevator. Alright. We still don't have access to... Or, like, our... Our uh, musical art girlfriend... Their, you know, musician girlfriend is not here again yet, which is still a little troubling. All the trouble is going through for nothing. <laughs> you could have just hit it two days ago and it would have been fine. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I... Yeah, I get that. It's just like... Why didn't I... Why didn't I just uh, do that days ago? Run, Yagami. Yeah, run. Run faster. Ramsama. Seriously, at this point now, I just really do want some kind of case where we can get back into a disguise. Hey, look. It's our landlady. Honestly, she just spawns in wherever. It's really weird. I expect to just see her over here. Because it happens all the time. Who's that guy? What's so special about him? This is clear this is a side case, so what's the deal? No more. Looking for software, get focused. Yeah, sounds about right. Hey man, I'm Tatsuo. I own the bar just over there. You look thirsty, my friend. Hmm? Do I? <laughs> oh, only 2,000 yen for a drink. What do you say? Ugh, he's a barker. Hey, come on, man. I'm in serious trouble right now. A big party just canceled on me, and uh, I'm so screwed if I don't fill up some tables. So please, can you hear me out? Like I said, I run that bar over there with my wife. It's uh, got a real nice vibe and uh, pretty good food, if I do say so myself. But losing customers like uh, this, it's put us in a real pinch. If uh, you have a drink. You really help us out. But yeah, it's like if if it's working now, that's all the better. Like, you know, a couple days of overstressedness of why it's not working. That sucks. But if it's working now, yay! Good, good, good happening. I mean, I I don't know. It's 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 better that it's working, yeah. Because yeah, trying to figure out mysterious reasons why it's not working, that's that's not as fun as one might hope. In some cases. Nah. Damn, this guy's not giving up, is he? Just two thousand yen, right? Totally. <laughs> what could have been? Ah. Eh. At least you didn't go to the point of actually, you know, spending spending anything to fix it. You know, trying to have to, you know, free up some money or spend something to try to fix whatever the nonsense was. Totally! It's a panic sale! You you won't regret it! <sighs> yes, I'll follow you. What is I'm your on. deal? What is your deal? Fine, just one drink. Now we're talking. Please, right this way. Uh, if anything turns sketchy, I'm walking right out the door. Oh, what's this? A customer? <laughs> You're darn right, Maki. I got this guy wandering right outside. I offered him a drink. 
Honey, don't tell me. Were you out harassing people again? Didn't I tell you it's against the law? Shut up, woman. It's my bar. I'll do what I want. It's your bar, is it? What if I stop helping you with it then? Oh, really? You're the one who needs the cash to fund your host club addiction. I haven't been to the host club in forever. Uh, and I work more than enough to make up for it. How did I manage to walk into a marital spat? What was the new emotes? What is it? I got uh, the... The Reaper one that I got... Uh, and then I got a water dance to make. Or I it was something that she did for one of her drawing things, and I yeah, I was like, hey, can I use it? And then yeah, I I threw together something that would that I could use the animated stuff for. So they came they came out pretty nice. Like it it looks a little funky. Yeah, the Reaper and the Let's Go. Like, yeah. It, it's still like I've got I've got a phone here as an extra little uh, monitor preview sort of thing and it still reads pretty decently at that size yeah it still reads pretty decently on mobile <laughs> the, the Reaper let's go <laughs> I don't think the Reaper gets glasses properly though yeah I don't think the Reaper gets glasses properly then again I don't think like a lot of those sorts of things it doesn't really work out properly let's see choose modify emote reaper hey, it tries it honestly tries it doesn't do it very successfully but it tries to give the reaper glasses I think if it was flipped the other direction it might work but nope that's the direction that Reaper is. How did I walk into a, how did I walk into a marital spat? You're ridiculous. Out of sync. Uh, I usually have been noticing that uh, I've had to uh, uh, pause and unpause a lot on a lot of streams. It's really weird. I don't know if it's my browser or what, but yeah, I've noticed that a lot on a lot of streams where it's like, if I've just, if I'll just let it go for quite a while, it'll get so far out of sync. It kind of sucks. It's, it's gotta be so just something in the, yeah, on the viewer end. It's weird. But yeah, it, good little, uh, pause and unpause catches it up. Cause it looks like, I think I ended up half accidentally turning on uh, timed pre-rolls so I'm in the middle of a, a pre-roll being turned off section so yeah I, I think I turned on like what is it three minute ads at the top of every hour to kill pre-rolls for like 45 minutes or something I, I don't remember You're ridiculous. I'm going to go have a drink. Oh, I am so sorry, sir. That must be terribly awkward for you. I don't want to keep you. No. No, it's fine. I don't mind ordering the drink as I said I would. Hmm. So, what would you like, sir? Have any recommendations? Uh, we actually just restocked in some top shelf whiskey. Uh, we can barely keep the stuff in the house. Seems like a good bargain for uh, a great taste, if you ask me. Ah. Sounds right up my alley. Hi. Okay, coming right up. Thanks for the drink. It was nice. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Come back any time. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. We don't take cards. Can can I ask you to pay in cash? Yep. Sure. I got 2,000 yen on me. Ha ha ha! 
That's not uh -huh. 2,000 yen. Why is this bill for 100,000 yen? Hey. You sure that's right? Hmm? Really? Uh, what, did I put down the wrong price? Uh, uh, I'm afraid not, sir. Everything looks correct to me. Huh? What? A hundred thousand yen. In cash, please. They got me. These conniving... Ugh. They ripped me off. <laughs> Side case. Entrapment! <laughs> oh, sir. Are you unable to pay... I'm super able to pay. I have almost 6 million yen in my pocket right now. But I guess if you don't take cards, maybe I don't have 6 million yen, you know, readily available. Huh? Back it up a sec. Any way you slice it, 100,000 for a shot of whiskey is ridiculous. Your husband said the prices were reasonable. <laughs> they are reasonable, sir. But I've included the service fee for my world-class bartending. Are you listening to me? Your husband said it was a 2,000 yen drink. <laughs> um, oh, my husband has no idea what we charge. I keep telling him to stop quoting prices. <sighs> that stupid man. Look at him, causing such misunderstandings. You're shameless. 55% cut if you do that. Apparently, yeah, it's it's something that's gonna be rolling out. It I didn't look too heavily at it, but it the idea that it's gonna like automatically roll and I can see that the pre-roll is off does seem somewhat beneficial because I never remember to run ads. Like I never remember to run ads at like any given time. I'll go for like five hours and never remember so it's probably running them just whenever so this at least like locks it into a time frame and then it's like then I know that it's turned off for people during a certain period of time and yeah hypothetically I I get a little bit better ad ad mount not that I get that much from ads as, as it is you're shameless. That fight earlier was just to lower my guard, wasn't it? I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you would, the check, sir. The police are going to catch on to this, you know. <laughs> police! The police don't have time to deal with civil affairs in this town. They wouldn't come if you reported me. Uh, she knows the game too well. Damn it. Sir, I have plans after this, so if you don't mind, can you please close your tab? Huh? Uh, you think I'm just gonna cough up that kind of money? Huh? <sighs> if you don't pay, I'll stab myself, and who do you think they'll blame? <laughs> like, she's, she's going to stab herself and expect them to be like, yeah, I'm like, what the hell? Huh? What? Are you really ready to pay the price for stabbing a poor defenseless woman? Uh, you wouldn't. Oh, I would. I'll scream and then stab myself right here. <laughs> I'm it's like, I don't want her to stab herself. Also, a hundred thousand isn't really that much. In in the long run of how much money I have in my pocket, I'll pay. I don't need old woman blood on blood on my hands. You know, whatever. I'll pay. Yeah, I have a camera phone, so it'd be like, you did it to yourself. Fine, I'll pay. Just lower the knife. A hundred thousand, not a yen less. I gotta buy some time. Is there no other way? Nothing I can see. Uh-huh. 
Oh, we get to investigate. Is there a cat? There's a cat! Of course there's a cat. Of course there's a cat. Oh, look. A cat. Okay, look for clues to determine how to proceed. Anything over here? Hmm. Always a cat. <laughs> yeah, I'll sell you your cat for a hundred thousand. Suspicious. That's a hell of a lot of cigarette butts. Does she smoke that much? Maybe it's a customer. Or maybe it's her Barker husband. Either way, maybe I can break out of this. Hey. Huh. They must have a bathroom. Maybe I can get out that way. Excuse me. Hey, uh, you mind if I use the bathroom real quick? If you pay first. I I'm, I'm leaking here, lady. And here they come. Yeah, I see it now. The pre-roll is there. It ended up resetting. Yeah, so I think I've got like... I think it must be at like about 35 minutes. Yeah. The way that it's set currently, I think it's it runs every like 35 minutes or so. I'll have to I'll have to adjust it to like a full hour or something. See what I'll have to look into the settings. You probably can't hear me anyway. But yeah, I'll look into the settings. If your plan is to escape from the bathroom, don't even think about it. Ugh, crap. Nanio. Do that in the bathroom. <laughs> huh? That's not what I meant. Guess who's back? Back again. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll have to look and see what the time frame is. Because I think the pre-roll adds hit every like 35 minutes, 40 minutes or so. So yeah, I'll, I'll have to see how that setting works. It's, it's one of those things that's new and just being rolled out, so I don't know exactly how it all works together. The restroom door. I think the thing is, like, it's her, like, thing on her neck. Like, suspicious. Yeah. She's pretty dressed up tonight. That necklace is the star of the ensemble, too. <laughs> Are you eyeing my necklace? I wear one... I wear this one on special occasions. Hmm? Special occasions. Oh, don't worry. It's got nothing to do with you. But if you want to fantasize about my body, my necklace later, and my butt... Oh, boy. If you want to fantasize about my body and my necklace later tonight, you're welcome to it. Really, lady? Hell no. Hmm. A special occasion tonight, huh? That must mean she's meeting someone. Is she meeting her husband? Or someone else? Maybe this'll be my lucky break. It could be completely harmless, but uh, if it's not, I'll have my bargaining chip. I'm desperate here. Any, any clues over here? Because we've got our bill. That's probably the last thing to look at, it looks like. Hey. So the service fee is 40,000 and then there's a pouring fee of 50,000? Oh, and we sell everything at 2,000 yen a drink. We have to make the money somehow. Why complain? Huh? Because it's robbery. That's why. Why come to a bar if all you're going to do is complain? Hey, I got dragged in here by a barker. <laughs> you young folks will nitpick anything these days. Degenerates. All of you. The only degenerate in here is you, lady. <laughs> we got zero <laughs> from that. Search for clues. Wait, are there more clues somehow? Uh-huh. Yeah, maybe it's Bob. Is 
there more somehow? What the? Oh, just her? She's sure wearing a lot of makeup tonight, and it's immaculate. She couldn't do this every day, could she? <laughs> I see you sizing me up, pretty boy. I am quite a catch, huh? You caught me on a good night. So she did go the extra mile tonight. If you keep staring, I'm going to add that to your tab. Huh? What? You think I'll give you even more? Even beauty has its price, sweetie. In fact, now that I look at you, you're handsome. In a rugged sort of way. Would you like to pay physically? Uh, miss, ma'am. No. This, no. Seriously. No. No. I'll give you your money. Ugh. This woman is something else. <laughs> Her face. It's worth zero. Okay, what else is there to to get from her. her clothes examined all of that register so that's where the money goes that she rips off of the customers it pisses me off that my money's about to go there too is that all the things? I don't see anything else. It's the door. Quick, let's take the door. Like, I don't see anything else. If we didn't have anything else, I would, like if we had all the evidence. Wait, she's not wearing her wedding ring either. What the? No ring that I can see. Then again, it's her right hand, so hmm. maybe if I check her left. If she's having an affair, she'd take her ring off for sure. This could be worth looking into. Hey, get your hand back here. Oh god, oh, wow, yeah, no, she has like a uh, tan line on her finger. Get back here, with your hand. Yeah, there's a tan line on her finger. Does that mean her wedding ring is usually on? If so, that would mean she's taking it off. Specifically for tonight. Maybe this woman really is about to go have an affair. I could just get evidence of that. I'm gonna lurk. Alright. I will be trying to figure out what this lady's deal is. And then probably trying to help some other people. I don't know how much longer we'll go, but yeah. Maybe for a little while. But I appreciate the lurk. With your fancy emote. just get evidence of that, I could use it to negotiate and turn money. <laughs> yeah. I'm usually on pretty late. Okay, we found all of our clues. Let's stop our investigation. Hey! How long are you gonna stare into space? Pay up already. Piss me off to no end, but I think I should pay her for now. I don't have a problem with paying her. Although, it's kind of ridiculous. Ah. Shit. You got me, lady. Don't think for a second that this is over. I'll get my money back in my own way. She's right that the police would never bother with fraud like this. So, I guess I'll have to stoop to her level. If I catch her in the middle of an affair, 
That'll be all the bargaining chips I need. Hmm? Hmm. I just got off work, darling. Hmm. Yep. I'm good. I I'll see you soon. <laughs> she was laying the charm on thick. It had to have been the guy on the other end. This is looking more and more like it might might just get the affair I'm after. <laughs> yep. Trailing this lady is the right call. <laughs> Maybe we can get 200,000 out of her. I'll get my money back. And she'll pay for taking it. Nice. Alright. Just gotta follow her without getting seen. Now we get a tailing mission! Jeez. Oh, these ridiculous tailing missions. Oh no, I can't see her, but I've got like 30 seconds to catch her. Seriously, the the champion district is terrible for corners. Where's she going? That way. It's like, because this is New Game Plus, I still have so much in the way of bonuses. It's like, I have just forever that I can wait. We got a car right here we can duck behind. Oh. Ah. Stealth. I just want to hide behind this thing here. Okay. I bumped into someone, so she heard me. Oh, crap. I don't know where the next hiding spot is. Is it the truck? It's a motorcycle? Okay, it's the truck. She comes back this way, I'm screwed. Okay, there she goes. Ooh, sneaky. Wait, where's she going? Get back here. Get back here. Lady! I don't see where to hide. That's my problem right now. Gotta be behind that truck, right? Really? Behind this truck isn't a hiding spot? Oh, there it is. The end of the tailing section. Hey! Were you waiting long, baby? I'm... Maybe I don't understand what blonde means, but... That doesn't look like blonde to me. <laughs> oh, no, I just got here. It's been so long, hasn't it, Subasa? So, do you have anything long you want to give me? <laughs> Damn, Mackie. It's only been three days, hasn't it? I've already lost his voice. I don't know why. I think I gave him, like, what, surfery kind of voice? I'll just have... I'll, I can find that one again. Ah! She's seeing the host. 
She's seeing that host. No wonder she needs 100,000 yen. These guys aren't cheap. Oh, so you took your ring off. I'm proud of you. Oh, Subasa, I am virgin every night for you. <laughs> oh, really? That means you want me to pop that cherry tonight? These are all very, very awkward conversations that I'm voicing. Mm-hmm. I will give you every part of me. Just, just the most awkward conversations. Nah. Huh. <laughs> wow, dude. He's just doing his job, but he keeps up with her like it's nothing. All right, need a good pick of this. Something she can't take, she can't talk her way out of. All right, now we take a picture. Decisive moment of infidelity. Wait, what? Nice. She's not going to be able to deny anything when this when it's this close. She told her husband she'd stop going to the host club. I think I got the perfect angle for this. Like I was super getting spotted. Like they so much saw me. Hey. Hello, ma'am. Did I uh, catch you feeling thirsty? <laughs> wow. Okay, Yagami. I, 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 I get you. Huh? You. What are you doing here? What do you think of this pic? Your face came out real nice. I think. Huh? Oh, what? Didn't you tell your husband you'd quit the host club thing? I wonder what he'd think about this photo. Hand it over. Oh, let's not get grabby. Huh? Hey, who the hell are you? Now it's slowly like sliding sideways into like Snake from uh, the Simpsons. <laughs> Nobody in particular, Cougar Bait. Or would you say this is just part of the job? <laughs> Subasa loves me, you moron. <laughs> uh, yeah, totally, Mackie. Yeah, no, it's it's sliding sideways into Snake from some from The Simpsons. Uh, then why don't you? Why won't you kick this guy's ass for me? You said that you work out, didn't you? <laughs> oh wait, that what? I'll give you 50,000. Uh, no, make it 100,000. <laughs> that sounds like a good deal to me. <sighs> so, he's in it for the paycheck after all. Let's go, asshole. You think you can step up to my old lady like that? I'm sorry. You think you can step up to my lady like that? I'll go easy on you if you don't hit my face. I wow, can't really? guarantee you that. I a lot of the heat moves are very face based. <laughs> like a lot of the heat moves are very face oriented. <clears throat> Ow! I told you not to touch my face. Oh, Subasa, are you okay? Hey. Well, ma'am, what's next on your list? You just I'll give you 50,000. Just delete the picture. I say we make it 100,000. That much is just a picture. <laughs> sure. The picture comes cheap, but there's a service fee for deleting it. And my world-class photography. What is with that stare? Are you sizing me up, you creep? Just thinking that you must still have that money you ripped me off—you ripped off me, right? Why not just return that? 
Uh, fine, I'll give it back. Just don't tell my husband about this. And we got our money back. We are well on our way to six million. No more. Ugh. You look like you need a drink, man. Oh. Hmm? Crap. Hmm? Maki, what are you doing with that guy? Uh, nothing. Huh? Don't tell me you were at the host club again. Uh, uh, no, why, why would I? What is it then, huh? I'm sorry. I'm glad I got my money back, but I'm annoyed for getting conned in the first place. More myself than anything. Just goes to show. Can't let your guard down, Kamurocho. No matter how well you think you know it. I mean, these, these, like, things... It's, it's not the worst scam artistry that, you know, the Yakuza games have done. Oh, I had no idea Onomichio expanded into Tokyo. How cool. I do enjoy a good Onomichio. But, I don't know, they... They do have their scam artists, and it's very frequent. Let's go talk to uh, Hiranomura. Or, I'm sorry, Hiranuma. See what he can... Like, if he has any cases for us. Hey, look, it's our landlady. I expected more people over here. What a waste. Yeah, usually there's more people. Oh, wait, Ryan? Oh, there's Ryan. I'm like... Giving me the like encounter dialogue for when we find Ryan, but yeah, it's like I didn't see him anywhere. There's just like something here. Yeah, it's like I feel like there's something here. I just have no idea. That wolf man. Rouge and Noir. All right then. And then I'll run right into the walls. Nope, not Earth Angel. The other one. Into Shellac we go. Ah, huh, he has a new job for us, maybe. Yagami-san! Yagami-san! My main man! What's up? Hey, uh, you're a san uh, You come by shellac pretty often, I see. <laughs> when I do feel like getting hammered. Which, uh, is gonna need to happen after this next job. You up for playing photographer again? Hmm? Sure. What kind of job are we talking about? I need you to take some pictures again. This time, it's a performing artist who's on the news recently because of some kind of scandal. His stage name is Bromsama. Have you heard of him? He's one of those goth rockers with a vampire persona. Nah. Hey, yeah. Let's just say I'm familiar. Oh. Good. Uh, this will go a lot quicker. He's apparently doing community service to make amends for something he did in the past. Since I want to write an article about it, uh, I need you to get his picture. Yeah, that whole thing. Did you catch the press interview that aired with him? Mm hmm? Huh? No, not really. Why? Do you know something about it? Uh, oh, <laughs> nah. Nobody's ever going to know that was me. What a relief. Although, I was half tempted to spill it just now. Maybe someday. Anyway, I hear Bromsama has been picking up trash around town as uh, part of his community service. Yeah. 
Yeah, he got off light. But, if you ask me, even though he whines, at least he takes it seriously. Uh, I'm surprised he's actually going through with it. Uh, I've been rather curious about that myself. That's why I wanted you to check on him and uh, see how well he's handling it. With the photo evidence, of course. Uh, apparently, he picks up trash near the Park Boulevard pretty often. Would you, you would get 50 G's? You know, would 50 G's get you to do it? Yeah. Say no more. I'm on the case. Let's go. Wait. Let's have, have a drink. Have a drink. We're not very low on health. Uh, Bushmills? No. Jack Daniels? I can't tell if that's like filling up my health or not. That I can tell doesn't fill up my health. Yeah, we'll just have that. It'll also increase our heat. Good stuff. <laughs> Back to it. You doing all right there? Like I, I feel like I'm doing okay, but yeah, it's like I'm all over the place with all sorts of different voices and things tonight. I know I always say it's like I only have like one-ish girl voice and it's like, well, I guess I guess that's not entirely true. I guess I've got, you know, I've got that old lady voice that I just used because, yeah, that's that's like my default old lady voice and then, yeah, there's, there's high-pitched girl voice and then slightly pitched up, you know, other girl voice that I was using for uh, the the other one in the office. What? No! Why do they only need to fight me? I'm just walking past. Here, bicycle. Do your job, bicycle. Thank you, bicycle. I appreciate that you're enjoying it. It's like they did. They made the wrong decision to mess with me. Okay. Yeah. Here, have a bicycle. Wait, where did we just say that the that the guy was doing things? Oh, up here. Okay. Let's go take a picture of our... Hey, Ryan. Let's go take a picture of uh, our vampire friend. Hey, look, it's our landlady. Hi. Alright, where is he? There he is. How you doing, Bromsama? You enjoying your uh, community service? Oh boy, here we go. What wretched scoundrel would dare discard this object without so much as a passing thought? I'll help you pick it up, Bromsama. No. Prostrate thyself no further, human, for I, Bramsala, must bear this cross of atonement alone. Yet, if you still wish to lend me your aid, then I give you a single command. Here he comes. He's gonna say his catchphrase. Offer unto me your pulsing blood. Yay! He said the thing! Promisama, we love you. <laughs> Even when he's picking up trash, he finds a way to work that in. Impressive. Okay. Time to get that picture. Don't mind me, Bramsama. I'm just walking past. Just... Just casually walking past you and your crap. No, should take a picture. Yeah, I'll take a picture. I'm just trying not to get 
in trouble. Oh, no, no, by me. No, don't look, don't look this way, Brom. Brom, Tama, look that way. Other way, a different way. Not at me. Stop looking at me. Stop looking at me. Okay. Whatever it is we're doing, like, okay, bend over. Ah! We're not doing a very good job of this one. He's so suspicious of me. I can't do it. Damn it. Damn it. What? I'm just standing here. I wasn't doing anything. Wow. That's a game over. <laughs> That's a game over. Sure. Your, your, your target might notice if you get too close to them or in their line of sight. He had his back against the wall, facing the crowd of people. What the hell did they want me to do? Yeah, that's so much for that uh, perfect run. You know, it's it's all over. Guess we got to start all over from the beginning again. Let's try this again. Honestly, we had a lot of time to take the picture. It's just didn't really uh, work out. There we go. That's kind of community service. Managed to get a good close-up with Brom Sama's face. Make a decent scoop. Man, nailed it. That's a solid picture. Guess back to shellac for me. Oh, I wanted to take an extra picture. Just for fun. Because he's not here anymore. I don't know how much more friendship it's going to give us with uh, Hiranuma. Uh, Hiranuma. Yeah. Let's go back. We run and we run and 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 run. Nope. Hey, look, it's our landlady. Seriously, she's everywhere. Hey, you're an Umasan. Got it. Here, it's uh, Brahm Sama. Oh, thanks, Yagami san. <laughs> This picture's actually kind of nice. Tasteful, even. Don't ask me why. It just is. Makes for good writing. What? Here. For a job well done. Thanks. Nope, now we are just, like, what, two-thirds of the way of friendship? Ugh, I should be the one thanking you. You were definitely the man for the job. Hoping to work together again? Yeah. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Thanks again. I'll contact you if I need something else. Oh no, wait. Will he give us another case? Oh, I think he can get some photos for me again. Oh, mm -hmm. can we finish becoming friends with him? Sure, what kind of photo do you need? A crow. A crow? Like, like the crow? Like, huh? A crow. What for? Ah, it's not just any ordinary crow. I'm looking for the rare and fabled white crow. A white crow. I'm not sure I'm buying that. 
Mm. Uh, at first, I couldn't believe it either. But uh, all these witnesses started showing up, so I figured it might be real. <laughs> I bet people would lose their minds if they happened to see it for themselves. Uh, is it just some kind of rare genetic anomaly? Yeah. <sighs> rare doesn't even begin to describe it. I did some research, and it turns out the odds of a white crow being born is 1 in 100,000, or lower. On top of that, white crows genetically get neglected by their parents and die young, which only adds to their rarity. Damn. Even the world of crows is rough. Yeah. And even if they get lucky and make it to adulthood, a harsh fate awaits these survivors. Might be because of their different plumage, but white crows get bullied by the others and excluded from the flock. Bullies? Jeez. That's harsh. It is. Even among crows, those who don't blend in are forced to live in hardship. Hey. Well, where was this bird last seen? Mm, I'm not sure. Each of the witnesses' testimonies have it pegged to a different location. But all the reports agree that the crow can only be found way up in the sky. Alone. So you'll need to go somewhere with a very high vantage point to find it. Sure, but don't you think that's going to make it difficult to get a clear shot? Yeah, so take a super zoom lens if you with you in order to get a clear shot. Uh, it'd be great if you could capture it in the center of the frame, if at all possible. Hmm. Jeez, you're, you're asking every little thing. Sounds kind of difficult. I'll get the shot, though. Yours, huh? Great, uh, but I want this shot against a night sky. Hmm? At night. But why? With all the witnesses happening to see it at night, uh, it seems that the white crow hides during the daytime. But crows aren't, no aren't nocturnal, though, are they? Nope. If anything, they usually sleep at night. But this one might have learned to hunt on its own, so as to avoid interference from the other crows. So it's not a lone so it's not a lone wolf, but a lone crow? Well, well, I guess that's all I need to know, but man, I gotta say, this sounds like a wild goose chase. Not goose. Crow. And I'll bump up your payment then. Let's make it a hundred thousand and call it even. Best of luck to you now. I guess I'll climb as high as I can once it gets dark out. Top root the top floor of the Camaro Theater has pretty high vantage point. It's also the rooftop of that one building on Tenkiichi Street. Gotta head behind Stardust to get up there. But it's not nighttime! Right? I think it was still daytime, right? Yeah, it's still very much daytime. So none of that nonsense for us. Let's go. So, like, I'm really still worried about Sana. Yeah, I'm still a little worried about Sana because she was going to meet us and talk to us about something. Let's go try to progress the story? Just a little bit? Just a little bit more. Who keeps putting their milk crates in the middle of... Hey, look, it's our landlady. Oh, no, wait, she's gone again. Yeah, hey, look, it's our landlady. Dang, she moves. Really? 
last year. Whoa, hey, it's Ryan. It's a move that we can only do when they're stunned by Ryan. Yeah, like when they get got by Ryan, they're all stunned. We do our heat move. All the good fun in games. All right, it was over here somewhere? Yeah. All right, we'll use the little vending machine until we get a double. Turn that, gotcha. It's a salmon. Because that's exactly what salmon look like. Like every salmon I ever seen. I don't see very many salmon. Turn that, gotcha. A blowfish. Okay. I've seen a salmon and a blowfish. What else we got? Turn that, gotcha! A Fugu! Because that's totally what Fugu look like. Oh, let's keep going until we get a double. Turn that, gotcha! There we go, double Fugu. Let's go. Okay, is there something down here? Just a broken elevator and nothing else. Hey, hey, is the plot in here? Hey, did you did you leave the plot in here? Yagami, what what are you doing here? Just here to chat. To chat. If Captain Hamura knew this, he'd what? Never mind. Don't gotta worry about that now. No. He's in no position to be coming after you anymore. No? You mean because of the shooting? Yeah, it really shook him up. He's been MIA ever since that night. Went into hiding even before the cops came. So, what do you want? What do you want? Don't just stand there. You're a guest. <laughs> Take a seat. <sighs> Sounds like the family's a mess right now. Got that right. The office is crawling with cops. Oh, and I head over there myself why we can't once go I'm over done there. with this. Why? I gotta shore up the defensive line. The whole family's on duty for this shit. Right. I'm just wondering, why'd the Kyori decide to come after you now? They've been pretty quiet. It's obvious. They're second in commands in town and ready for war. Took the train up from Kansai and everything. Who's this guy? Name's Satoshi Shioya. The guy's a natural-born fighter. And soon enough, he'll be chairman. And he's the one who ordered the shooting? No doubt. Though he was targeting Hamura, not Kurimoto. What makes you say that? Take a look at this. It's a shot of Kurimoto right after the shooting. Ugh. Oh, tough to look at. Yep. Man got bullets through both eyes. That's not what I want to show you. It's his clothes. Look at his clothes. Hmm? His clothes? What about them? That's the captain was what wearing the same Hamura was wearing. Yesterday. Wait. They're about the same age, and they look the same from behind, too. Safe to say the captain knows who they were really after. So, Kyure was meant for Hamura specifically, not the Tojo clan. Explains why he went into hiding so quick. Yeah, he ain't <laughs> dumb. Funny how this all worked out. You don't look very worried. If the Kyore are gunning for Captain Hamura, why wouldn't they go for the guys who set him free, too? What, you think they're coming for me? Nah. Let him try. If anything, Shintani's the one who should worry. After all, he was Hamura's lawyer. Yeah. He won't stand a chance with Yakuza gunning for him. If I were you, I'd at least give him a heads up. All right, then.
New evidence. Is there anything else in here? Not really. Let's go. Oh, wait. This one have series two. Oh, series two. What's in series two? Turn that gotcha. It's a squid. Turn that gotcha. It's a crab. That's exactly what a crab looks like. Totally 100% a crab. Super looks like a crab. Alright, capsule machine. Turn that gotcha. A goby. What else we got? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And turn the gotcha. It's a coelacan. Seriously, we're just getting different every time. Also, do not, do not ask me independently how to spell coelacan. It's like, I, it's like, you have that on your uh, spelling bee? No, I, I lose with that on my spelling. Something C, I know we just pulled one. It's like C-O-E. Uh, uh, yeah, I give up. This fish. All right, what do we got? A squid. All right, we got the squid. That is our double. Let's keep going. Seriously though, we have to have like nearly all of those, right? Uh, Sender valuables. Nope. Materials? Okay. We got one coelacanth. C-O-E... C-O-E-L-A-C-A... Oh, squid, squid, crab, marlin, blowfish, salmon, snapper, fugu, tuna. Because that's exactly what a tuna looks like. Get a closer look at it. Oh. Whoa. Hello? Kim san? How's my favorite know it all doing? Good? Who is this? The Sai, you know, from the Kahin Gang. And you're calling me why? <laughs> Yakimi san, do not listen to him. Oh, shut your mouth. Kim san, you okay? You want to see your friend alive again? Get your ass over here! Oh? That bastard. Shintani's gonna have to wait. We need to save Kim-san. Head to the beef zone. That's a terrible name for a, a, a thing. The beef zone. Seriously? You name your place the beef zone? Alright, is there anything else we can mess with? It does look like Sana is here. Uh, I'm on the fence here. Like, let's... let You know what? I'm going to go ahead and save it here. And next week, when we pick this back up, we will... Uh, we'll go to the beef zone. So, we'll go to the beef zone... We'll we'll talk to Sana, you know. Maybe we'll actually, you know, make better friends with Madoka. Wait, no, wait, no, wait, what? No. Oh yeah, and because it's not nighttime, we can't do do that other mission anyway. So, yeah, we'll next week we'll do uh, more story. But you know, we got past the end of what was it, chapter three? Got into four here. Made some made some more progress. So yeah. I think that's going to go ahead and do it tonight. Next scheduled stream should be Saturday night. I'm trying to figure out what I want to play 
the current plan is I'm going to scrounge up a handful of demos from the uh, the current Steam Next Fest. So, I don't know. I'll scrounge together, you know, three or four of them, see how that works out. Maybe something in the puzzle realm, maybe, you know, beat them up. Something, something that works for my sort of taste. But yeah, that's the, that's the general plan this upcoming Saturday night. Hopefully uh, I'll see you all there. And yeah, I want to give a shout out to the folks watching the VOD, whether it be on Twitch or over on the YouTube archive. I do hope you enjoy the content and that you are able to catch a live stream at some point. Follow the channel if you like. Join the Discord if you want. Over on the Discord, you can give me, you know, recommendations for that uh, demo thing. But yeah, those are great ways to keep track of when I do come online. You can sub to the channel here on Twitch. You know, helps keep the lights on, helps keep me in video games, all that good stuff. Additionally, over on YouTube Archive, you can like the video, comment, subscribe, tell me that that is exactly what a coelacanth looks like. I don't even know. But yeah, YouTube stuff, I guess it helps. We'll see. But I do hope everybody is taking care of themselves with everything going on. I have been somebody nowhere. You've been amazing, and I do hope to see you next time.